Now to the roadie women's basketball team that starts the Atlantic 10 tournament tomorrow. The Atlantic 10 co-champions and what a journey it's been to get to the top of their conference. Four years ago, URI finished the season tied for last place. This year, One, two, three, champions! they finished tied for first. Co-champions of the Atlantic 10, they're the most improved team with the most improved player. In first team all-conference forward, Maya Torre. Those days I had to work because I was, I was really frustrated if I did something bad on the court or if we lost or I was really frustrated and I couldn't sleep if I didn't work. What keeps the coach of the year that turned this thing around up at night? Despite the regular season success, Tammy Reese is 0 for 4 in Atlantic 10 tournament games. I always think about that. I always, you know, people say, oh, you, you know, the things you do do and you... I'm always, I have a bucket list of the things that we have not done. It was why I wanted to stay here in Rhode Island, winning the damn Atlantic 10 tourney game. We've lost every game we've played, so that, that bothers me. It burns me. Reese trying to get the Rams to the big dance for the first time, assembling an A-10 all-star team of sorts with veterans like Madison Haddix Covington, who won a conference title with VCU in 2021 playing in the championship game three times, making up for the Keeney Blues' overall lack of experience. To remaining calm, keeping everybody focused, and just showing them that, you know, um, to relax, you know, just let the game play through. But this team is anything but laid back. That's what hung their first ever regular season banner. That's why all of us came here, um, because we all wanted to be great. We wanted to be special. And that special season continues tomorrow in the 8-10 quarterfinals at 5 o'clock. The Rams finding out their opponent tonight. They will play George Washington in that game.